It's a new season in Upland, and it's time to complete a number of tasks in order to increase your boosted earnings from that 4.9% base yield all the way up to potentially 15.2%. After analyzing all the tasks, you're probably asking yourself, is it worth all that effort in order to increase my earnings? Now, this is exactly where the Upland Guide Seasonal Upex Earnings Calculator comes into play. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to use it. This calculator will save you both time, money, and a big hassle trying to figure out if it's worth it to complete that extra task. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I'm here to unlock the secrets of the Upland Metaverse. On this channel, you can find everything you need to build your Upland Empire. Expert tutorials, winning strategies, pro tips and tricks, and a lot more. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the Upland Metaverse, that knowledge is truly your most valuable asset. This tool is really simple to use. You can access it in the link in the description below or the upper right hand corner. All you have to do is input your existing monthly earnings as well as your earnings multiplier. Right by that number one and all of the information that you need will be populated. To understand the Upex earnings, look at columns two, three, and four. Based on the number of tasks you complete, there is a boost factor to the amount of earnings that you have. If you choose not to complete any tasks, your earnings will be 4.9% of the mint price of the properties that you own. Obviously, if you have properties in collections, then you will have those boosted multipliers added to that. For each task completed up to five tasks, you can see that your boost factor also increases to the point where if you complete all five tasks, then you will reach an earnings of 14.7%, and this is for the two month period of the next season. If you choose to complete all of the tasks, then you will get an additional boost of 3.1, to 15.2%, which is actually 15.19% if you multiply 4.9 by 3.1. To learn more about these boosted earnings and the tasks that you need to complete, which are subject to change between different seasons, you can check out that blue link, which is also in this earnings calculator. Column number five will show you what your new monthly earnings will be in the next season. And column number six is just two times column number five for the simple reason that the boost factor is locked in for the two months. Now columns number seven and eight are where things start to get interesting. Let's take the scenario where it's the start of the new season and Upland has just announced the tasks that you have the ability to complete. And you're looking over the tasks and you're starting to think of which ones are both the easiest and cheapest ones that I can complete. If you're thinking, I want to complete all of the tasks and get the maximum boost factor for the next season, then you won't want to spend more than 8,400 UPEX in order to complete those tasks or invest that equivalent amount of energy or time. Now, how does that make sense? If you look at column six, and let's say, and you decided not to complete any tasks, you're still going to be earning 4,000 UPEX over those two months. Now that's assuming that you do log in and collect your UPEX earnings in a way that you do not reach the earnings cap. So if you have 4,000 UPEX earnings guaranteed, and then you decide to do all of the tasks, then you will earn a total of 12,400 UPEX. And that's the 8,400 UPEX difference that I spoke about earlier. So if it's gonna cost you more than 8,400 UPEX to complete all those tasks, don't do it. Similarly, if you only wanted to complete one task in order to get a 1.2 times multiplier, you would wanna make sure that the amount of OPEX or time that you're spending is going to be less than 800 OPEX in order to complete that task. Otherwise, again, that won't be economically viable for you. Now let's look at column number seven. When is the best time to be using this? Let's say you're halfway through the season and you've already completed four tasks that you thought you would be able to complete. And now you're scratching your head saying, hmm, should I try and go for that one additional task? Here what you would wanna do is look at that number of tasks completed row of five, and you can see here that we're standing on 2,000 OPEX. So this essentially means that if you're already at the four tasks and you wanna do one more task, make sure that the cost of completing that task is going to be less than 2,000 OPEX. Otherwise, it's not going to make sense for you to do that additional task. Now, here's another example. You see a player here who earns 400,000 OPEX each month from these property earnings, you can see that in order to complete all of the tasks, his incremental breaking even point 
from going from five tasks completed to all of the tasks completed will only earn him an additional 26,000 UPEX. Some of these tasks do take a lot of effort and some of them cost even quite a lot of UPEX. So you can see here that even if you do have a lot of earnings, it's not obvious that you're going to want to go and try and complete all of the tasks. Now this isn't to say don't try and do it. If you're a gamer and you like the challenge, then by all means go for it. But if you're looking at this specifically from an economic standpoint, then this calculator should be an excellent help for you. Continue watching some of these videos to learn everything you need to know about seasons and lots of other tricks there are in Upland.